Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the relationship between potassium and stomach acid, okay? Like that's hydrochloric acid. Uh, in other videos, I'm always recommending taking um, apple cider vinegar for digestion to help increase the acidity of the stomach, and sometimes betaine hydrochloride, um, sea salt to help the, uh, build up the chlorides to make hydrochloric acid. But there's another nutrient that is critical in making stomach acid, okay? And that is potassium. If you don't have enough potassium, it's going to be very difficult to make hydrochloric acid. But let's talk first about the symptoms if you're low in stomach acid, okay? You're not going to be able to digest red meat. Uh, you're not going to like it. It's going to make you feel bad. You're just not going to want it, okay? And uh, it's going to create bloating, gas, belching, burping, uh, constipation, and then acid reflux eventually. These are some of the symptoms. Um, so in addition to taking hydrochloric acid, um, you want to make sure you have enough potassium as well. Where do you get that? Vegetables, very key uh, source. I mean, potassium is also in red meat and other meats and even chicken, uh, but not as much. Avocados, beet leaves. So when you're eating your salad, realize you're helping your digestion big time, okay, eventually. But potassium is critical in the stomach's ability to just make hydrochloric acid. Uh, the last point I want to make is that uh, people don't usually realize the amount of potassium they need. They need a lot. Um, they need 4,700 milligrams every single day. 4,700 milligrams. That's for a healthy person. If the person has, has rheumatoid arthritis and they're stressed out, they might need five to 6,000 milligrams. They just need more. If they have insulin resistance or they're diabetic, they need a lot of potassium. Uh, it's kind of like a, the, the gap that I see uh, between people getting healthy and what they're doing. They, they don't consume enough vegetables. They just don't do it. And so you may want to um, take an electrolyte powder with more potassium or just force yourself to eat more vegetables because uh, this is critical. Um, the amount of vegetables that you need on a given day to reach this um, would be about uh, seven to 10 cups. That's high quality greens, not iceberg lettuce. But also you'll get potassium from the other things that you're eating as well, even nuts, even some in the eggs. Um, so it's not just all coming from the vegetable. But I want to just make a note that stomach acid is very, very important in breaking down protein, absorbing minerals, and killing pathogens. And uh, you want to make sure you have enough potassium to fortify this to make sure that this is supported. All right. Thanks for watching. So I'm doing a survey for future videos on topics that you are interested in. This one is going to be on your biggest keto difficulty. If you wouldn't mind filling out the survey down below, I put a link in the description. Please fill it out. Thank you so much.